Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous evening here in Lubeck, Maine, the easternmost point in the U.S. That is actually Canada you're looking at over there. You can't see it over all these cars. That is the bridge to Canada, which I will not be crossing. Been there, done that, especially since this is not my gas sucking car this gas sucking car belongs to uh, my fellow doomer buddy buddy Peter who is a long haul what are you doing uh, what is this fucking idiot doing got the whole fucking parking lot anyway you like that place better so anyway, I'm driving in this gas-sucking truck. I have been at the library getting some internet, and uh, I'm going to head back. You're probably getting ready to get blinded as another gorgeous sunset. Ah, shit. Talk about getting blinded. Well, it will be a gorgeous sunset in a few minutes, and then the... Uh, I think the full moon is either on the rise tonight or tomorrow night. There's the, there's the East Point Ferry. That is a gorgeous ferry boat ride, I hear. Maybe tomorrow we will take the East Point Ferry. But anyway, uh, I am heading back to camp because it is past margarita time. Good God, I've got to get out of this blinding sun. I hope I'm not going to be driving right into the goddamn sun the whole trip back in this monster truck. All right, looks like the monster truck I'm in coming my way. So, uh, anyway, it is a spectacularly gorgeous Wednesday night, August 14th, 2019. The whale watching tours here. Uh, so anyway, I'm just doing kind of, I think as I ride home through the gathering sunset, uh, how about that for a ham bone? Oh god, maybe I need to move to Lubeck. What do you guys think of that one for a ham bone? special it is for sale there's a lot of waterfront property for sale in Lubeck uh, Lubeck Maine it is a buyer's market so anyway uh, I'm just gonna do kind of a follow-up uh, part two to that rant that I started that rambling rant I started last night uh, yesterday about uh what did i call that rant what are we going to do about these pesky planet eaters and what i want to do as i kind of touched on i want to do the 12 ways 12 things we need to do to save the planet so we're going to see if we can come up with 12. i'm just this is purely going to be off the top of my head uh, but before I do, uh, I just want to make a, a quick summary of my whole uh, rant. I've had this rant many times in the past, including yesterday, so I'm not, I'm not going to belabor it. And this is just one more note on the moral authority, uh, the whole moral authority debate uh, about whether in order to have the right to call out somebody in another country uh, does anyone who was born in a country that has con committed environmental crimes do you have a, the moral authority uh, to call out somebody in another country for committing moral crimes and so I think the bottom line just to just to sum this all up anybody on this planet 
It has nothing to do with what country you are from. Any earthling on this planet, and uh, this is not even limited to humans, any earthling on this planet who understands how fucked we are and understands that the amoral evil motherfuckers bringing down this planet need to go uh, has, in my opinion, the moral authority to call out anybody on the planet uh, who, ha who has no moral authority. I think some of the confusion on this term moral authority is this whole equally uh, specious argument uh, about environmental hypocrites. That, for instance, you know, since I am driving a monster truck uh, heading back to camp to uh, make a, to eat a factory farmed pig, that I do not have the moral authority to talk about anybody bringing down a planet uh, because I am driving a monster truck and getting ready to eat a pork sandwich. I am not getting, it's, it's, uh, I'm not going to get off into that tired, boring old saw about that. Uh, I've had that one about a hundred million times, so I'm going to move on to what I'm really here to talk about. I'm really just here to show you the drive back from Lubeck to my, uh, campsite. Uh... Okay, if I have time, the 12 things, it'll be 10 or 12 things we should do, we need to do to save the planet. All right, since I mentioned a couple of these yesterday, the number one thing we need to do to save the planet, every single one of us needs to go to sleep tonight and never wake up again tomorrow that humans need to go extinct before morning to save the planet. This is the number one thing we need to do to save the planet. And if you do not believe that is the number one way to save the planet, you might be an apocaloptimist. Okay, failing number one, since number one ain't gonna happen, the number two thing we need to do to save the planet is to voluntarily sterilize ourselves before letting one little planet nibbling uh, cat out of the bag. And uh, if you do that, you get a pass to drive a fucking gas-sucking truck and eat all of the goddamn hamburgers you want till the day you die if you have voluntarily sterilized yourself before having any children as I did uh, at age 22 you can give yourself a pass cause you have done the only thing short of going to sleep tonight and not waking up tomorrow to save the planet that's number two but since it ain't gonna happen, so oh yeah, if you don't believe that is the number two thing we need to do to save the planet, uh, you might be an apocaloptimist. But since number two ain't gonna happen, let's move on that we're going to voluntarily sterilize ourselves. The number three thing we need to do to save the planet is to sterilize the entire human race. Sterilize every man, woman, and child on planet Earth by whatever means necessary. Whatever means. 
necessary to sterilize every single human being on planet Earth who refuses to voluntarily be sterilized. I have thrown out some plenty of good suggestions. Just pay people to get sterilized. That'll take care of a lot of people. May if <coughs> make mandatory sterilization the number one rule of immigration. If you ever want to immigrate from your home country to any other country on the planet, you need to be sterilized. And this is, uh, this is every bit is true if you are trying to immigrate from Maine to Canada or from Canada to Maine, you need your honky ass to get sterilized as much as all of those little, uh, those, those little, uh, brown people trying to get across the border or those black people getting their black asses to Honkyville over on the other side of the pond. Any human being on the planet wanting to get residency in another country on the planet needs to be sterilized. It has nothing to do with your race. It has to do with the fact that you are part of the human race. If that doesn't work, uh, we need a zero child policy. We need to put the shit in the chemtrails. We need to put the shit in the public drinking water supply. But of course, uh, it is not gonna happen. Uh, and if you do not believe uh, having a planet-wide involuntary sterilization program is uh, not the number three thing on the list. You might be an apocaloptimist and more importantly, uh, of course, you need to know it ain't gonna happen. So number four on the list of things that are never going to happen. Uh, I'm just taking a scenic ride looking at for sale signs. Okay, the number four thing uh, on the list of things we need to do to save the planet that will never happen is we need to not uh, cut our carbon emissions. We need to cease and desist the use of all fossil fuels on planet Earth starting today, starting with this gas-sucking truck. We need to cease and desist the use of fossil fuels today. We need to, as they like to say, keep it in the ground. We have been having some version of that since at least 1988. This keep it in the ground to save the planet. Since 1988, it is now, what, 30, 30 years after the keep it in the ground slogan started. Uh, we for the first time in history hit pulling 100 million barrels of fossil fuels out of the ground every day of the year. We are uh, burning more fossil fuels and adding more carbon emissions to this planet every single day this year than we have at any other day in history, thanks in part to this gas-sucking monster truck that I am driving and the gas-sucking monster truck that uh, this man is driving. And I wonder if this is the way back home. I am getting hungry and I'm ready for a margarita. So, uh, if you do not believe that ceasing and desisting completely 
getting rid of fossil fuels off the face of the planet is not the number four way to save the planet. You might be an apocaloptimist, but of course, if you have a fucking brain, you understand it ain't gonna happen. We are not going to cease and desist the use of fossil fuels. So, we need to get to the number five way. The number five way of uh, saving the planet, which is pretty much just another way of uh, saying cease and desist the use of fossil fuels, and that is to, we need to crash and burn global industrial civilization. We need to burn that motherfucker to the ground until we voluntarily crash and burn global industrial civilization to the ground. We are more fucked today than we were yesterday. Anybody who does not believe that burning global industrial civilization to the ground is not the fifth best way to save the planet might be an apocaloptimist. And, uh, but of course, anyone with a brain knows goddamn well we are not going to voluntarily uh, burn global industrial civilization to the ground, although global industrial civilization will burn itself to the ground sooner or later, although it can't be soon enough to save the planet. Oh God, let's go on to number six way to save the planet. We need to uh, get 100% of the clueless fucking morons on the planet to understand you cannot have infinite growth on a finite planet. The single biggest lie on the planet is you cannot have infinite growth on a finite planet until the planet figures this out, we are fucked. It's that simple. Uh, as long as one person on this planet, particularly one of these evil motherfuckers uh, bringing down the planet, uh, don't believe this, we are fucked. Well, I don't even, what number am I on? Was that number six? Anybody who does not believe that this is the number six uh, biggest way to save the planet might be an apocaloptimist, but of course anybody with a fucking brain understands that uh, we are not, it ain't gonna happen that more than a tiny few people on the planet understand that we cannot have uh, infinite growth on a finite planet, and so we are fucked. I've already forgotten, uh, was that number six? What was number seven? Number seven might be we need to recycle, but of course, uh, anybody who thinks that we need to recycle, I'm mainly talking about plastic. Uh, that anybody who believes the solution to the plastic problem is recycling is so fucking clueless that the, the recycling does not even make the top 100 ways to save the planet. We need to immediately cease and desist all production of plastic on this planet, which is kind of a subset of ceasing and desisting the use of fossil fuels. So uh, we're going to make this number seven. And uh, uh, of course, if you do not believe that uh, we need to cease and desist the production of plastic, you might be an apocaloptimist. You might be a clueless fucking moron. It's what you might be, a clueless fucking moron. 
and of course if you have a brain if you are not a clueless fucking moron you understand that we will never cease and desist the production of plastic and in fact the production of plastic is expected to quadruple uh, between now and 2050. I think that Maggie May might have a video over on her channel about her visit to this uh, newest plastics factory in Pennsylvania that I've uh, mentioned in a couple of rants. Go over to Maggie May's channel and see if she has a video. I'm not quite sure. I think that Maggie is putting out a video about that. Uh, where are we? The number eight way uh, to save the planet. Uh, that's never going to happen. Well, I guess those are the big seven. And then uh, by that point, the planet is already completely, hopelessly fucked. And uh, obviously I could go down this list, uh, you know, somewhere on there I was going to get to militarily invading uh, mainly China. Oh yeah, the number seven way, actually this probably should have been the number three way, as I mentioned yesterday, we need to obliterate China off the face of the map while we still have a tiny window of opportunity as a planet to do that. Since if everyone else on the planet uh, other than in China does go to bed tonight and never wake up, it makes no difference to the fate of the planet. The planet is going down with no help from the rest of the world that China is bringing the planet down. So we need to uh, obliterate China off the face of the map. I've already covered in yesterday's rant invading other countries, have the military invading other countries to put the planet eaters out of business and the equally absurd other side of the coin just pay those pesky planet eaters to stop uh, raping and plundering the planet. Just pay them enough money and they will stop uh, doing what planet eaters do. It's probably Don Juan would say that is about like trying to pay a mountain lion to stop acting like a mountain lion. But I think I have arrived at the old home place. So I'm going to wrap up this rant with doing the only thing that any one of us can do not to save the planet because there is no saving this planet. To understand that this planet is hopelessly fucked understand this on a cellular level that there's not a fucking thing that you or anybody else on this planet can do to stop uh, the collapse of planet Earth. So you might as well get out there and enjoy it while you still can. And I am coming in to uh, my little bivouac should just be able to catch the sunset as I make my margarita for the end times, my sunset margarita for the end times, and enjoy the full moon getting ready to rise over the coast of Maine. And uh, I highly suggest you get out there and have a an end times sunset margarita and enjoy the full moon rise while you still can and that is all there is to say about that okay little dog we're back time for the sunset margarita like that you probably need some food yourself are you kind of hungry yourself 
Bye, guys.